I'm gonna take a ride on this trolley here. Pulling the cantilever wire down and reconnecting it. This thing runs off here. of uh, 600 volts. Oh. Running off of 600 volts, those poles, you got one on each end. If that pole comes off, that means everything stops. So that's what he's doing right now. I don't know what it is, I can't reach it from here. Okay, hold on a second. <laughs> we dewired somehow. It was uh, built 1914 by the St. Louis Car Company. And this car did not run in the city streets. This was made primarily as a box motor to haul the freight cars and chemicals from the water treatment plant, uh, I mean from the La Cleve Landing to the water treatment plant up at Chain of Rocks. You notice um, it's very high, it's hard to, why it's got large steps on it. What's known as freight car compatible. It's got couplers on both ends because it did haul a lot of freight cars. Uh, uh, in 1920, when the uh, amusement park at the Chain of Rocks opened up, that's when they installed the seats. And uh, they would bring people up to the amusement park on weekends. And it just so happens that no matter what they charged, whether they started off during a couple of pennies to ride, over time it went up to a quarter. Well, no matter what it was, people wanted to ride. Well, during the 1930s, when the Depression hit, they actually converted the system over to buses in order to save, save money. But in World War II, you couldn't get diesel fuel or you couldn't get rubber, so they converted it back to electricity again. And the system ran until 1958 when they discontinued the whole process. That's when this car and two of his sisters were donated to the museum. This car had actually sat for 35 years before it was fully restored enough to put back into service about 25 years ago. Now, now back to the main, the main events here. You notice there's an old abandoned tunnel at the, end of the front end of the car up here. Now, in the, in the 1850s, when railroads were expanding west out of St. Louis, um, four of these tunnels were built, two of them on the Missouri Pacific Line, which were on the old former Mopac Line, and two on the Frisco Line that went to Kansas City, that went to uh, Springfield in the southwest part of the state. This is one of the four that, that's still in existence. Now, back in the 1850s, that was before the invention of dynamite. So it took them four years to cut 400 feet through the limestone. I know it doesn't sound like very much, but when you don't have dynamite, all you got is gunpowder. That's what they had. That's what they did. And once the tunnel was opened up, it was used until World War II. Now during the war, as you can imagine, they were fighting. Uh, we were fighting both the Atlantic Front and the uh, European and the Japanese Front. Besides this being the main commercial line, passenger and freight traffic. The military was also sending trains through here, troop trains, etc. This became a real problem and a real bottleneck. So a Mopac Railroad that owned the tracks applied for a grant. They got a chunk of the mountain to the south of it to cut down. All of this, they double tracked it and all of this became surplus property. So in the uh, 1944-45, one of the rich doctors that worked for the railroad, John Roberts, 
bought the property and started acquiring antique railroad equipment. As you saw the equipment here, it's been here a long time. But whatever is here, you know, is what's been accumulated over 75 years. So, it just so happens then that this car and the other four cars that we operate were all built by the St. Louis Car Company. Now, they were the second largest builder of street cars in the United States. They were up in the Baden section of Riverview, and they were in existence for about 100 years. They went out of business in the mid-1970s, and the last legacy that they left with us was they built the little gondolas that run up and down in the arch. So if you've been in the, the line, you, the operator went and turned the poles around, went to the other end of the car, went back the other direction. guys we got the ride on the streetcar thanks for watching guys give me a thumbs up subscribe if you would appreciate you guys watching